YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina, and as you may not be. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> as you. Me. As you can tell from the title of today is a wash day for me. I have been wearing a wig for two weeks and I went swimming yesterday. And now, now it is time for me to go ahead and wash my hair. And when I was deciding what I was gonna do, I went ahead and decided I was gonna do a wash and go. It's been so cringy, get away. <laughs> I decided I was gonna do a wash and go. It's been a while since I wore my natural hair. Actually, the last time I wore my natural hair out, the wash and go was horrible. So today I woke up and I went to Target to actually go pick up one of my favorite products for wash and goes, but it wasn't there. So it forced me to have to pick up something new. These two bad boys right here, which I hadn't seen in Target before. This is the Pomegranate Honey Curly Smoothie, which I think this will be really good for my hair because I love like curl milks and like curling um, lotions or whatever for your hair. And this one has a soft finish or a soft definition, definition um, finish for your hair. So it's supposed to be a soft definition and then the product consistency is a medium consistency so when you squirt it it has a medium consistency to it duh and then we have the curling scope custard and this one's for a deep definition and it has the most definition that you can get from this line and then it has a very light finish like it's like and now I'm normally not a fan of a custard or a jelly or anything like that when it comes to my wash and goes but when I opened it up at Target and I felt it and I rubbed it into my skin it actually melted into my skin pretty well and I've been thinking about reiterating like gels and stuff like that into my wash and goes so I won't have to like redo them so much so that my hair can have low manipulation so that I can hopefully retain some length because it's been really hard for me to retain some length. So when I touched it, it just, it didn't feel like super sticky. It felt really light and it felt like it was gonna blend well into my hair. So we have that. So I decided that since I was trying out new products today that we were just gonna go ahead and recur recurl. Recurl? Recurl? We were going to go ahead and record my wash and go using these two new products. So I am going to be using my favorite shampoo, my favorite conditioner, one of my favorite summertime leasons, and then we're going to put these on top. So if we don't like the wash and go, we know it had nothing to do with anything but these products right here. And let me tell you something, I will take these bad boys back if I don't like them. I will go right back to Target and be like, here you go, give me my money like that so let's go ahead and take these braids down you guys and hop in the shower i'll see you guys there all right you guys so i am starting off with rinsing my hair of course with water what else i'm making sure that my strands are thoroughly saturated and trying to make sure that they are wet before i put on my shampoo the shampoo i'm using is the curls daughter's sweet ginger shampoo now I will say one thing I don't I don't think I've seen anyone else doing on YouTube is actually using the nozzles on their scalp directly instead of putting it into their hands. I feel like when you actually put the shampoo into your scalp, you're controlling where the shampoo is actually going and you're not getting too much shampoo onto your strands and you're actually letting the shampoo run its way down to the strands and you're actually cleansing your scalp more. That's just me. It's just something that I just started doing. All right, you guys, so now the shampoo is rinsed out of my hair. Guess what I'm doing now? You'll never guess. It's so groundbreaking, like no one else is doing this. I'm kidding. I'm separating my hair into four sections like everyone else would do. <laughs> Just a joke. Um, 
I'm going to put in one of my favorite conditioners that can also be a deep conditioner, which is the Shea Moisture. I believe it's like the intense hydrating conditioner. And I'm going to put that into my hair. And then I'm going to first like finger detangle. And then I'm going to follow up with my wet brush and do what I like to call a deep detangling because I need to do both. I feel like if I do both and get the big knots out with my hands, then I'm not stagging my hair as much with the brush. And when I detangle with the brush, I'm getting all the knots out and I don't have to worry about like any tangles or any single knots or anything like that. So I'm just here demonstrating it for you guys again, but don't worry, this will be the last time you see me detangling my hair in this video. I know it can get a little boring after a while. So I'm finger detangling here once again. And I tried so hard like not to make any ugly faces while I was detangling my hair, but sometimes, you know, it hurts. <laughs> so it is what it is. All right, so when I'm done with this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist this bad boy up and then move on to the next section. But as for you guys, you will see me doing the last one and you see me partying because I'm like, oh yes, girl, we're done. So I'm going to wait about five minutes and then rinse it out. A few moments later. All right, you guys, we're back. So right now I'm just rinsing it out, obviously, but I like to leave my hair into the twist. And I like to do that because it helps keep my hair sectioned before I style for my wash and go. Guys, so we are here. I have all my products down here off scene that you guys can't see. And I am using my favorite leave-in conditioner. So like I told you guys, if the wash and go, wash and go don't come out right, I already know it's these products. Um, so yeah, what I like to do is I like to work section by section on my wash and goes. Um, my hair is like slightly a little dry it's not completely soaking wet which will hopefully help my hair dry faster hopefully um what i'm actually going to do really quickly is i'm going to test my leave-in conditioner that i'm going to be using and the styling custard together just the styling smoothie and custard together just to make sure that everything's going to blend together nicely and i learned this trick from mo nose hair is you just take a little bit of each product and I actually hope this is good because I'm going to have to think of another leave-in conditioner to do. So let's pray this works out well, you guys. And we're going to mix these together. And as long as they melt into my skin and don't create an ugly cast, then they should mix together good in your hair. Which I'm thinking they're going to do. They're going to be fine because it's not creating an ugly cast on my hand and it's melting into my skin really nicely. So there we go. That is one way where you can tell, you can tell if your hair is gonna flick up or not if you're cocktailing products. So that's that. All right, for this one, I like to kind of spray this one in my hand, actually, instead of spraying it into my hair. Spray it in my hand, and then work it into my hair. It's just a personal preference. But after this, I'm gonna take in, work in a slightly smaller section and just part that up. I'm gonna work with half of this section here. Take the curling smoothie now and take about that much and work that into my hair. The consistency for this one was supposed to be kind of a 
heavy consistency, it doesn't feel that way. It's supposed to be a medium to heavy consistency. It's like in the middle. A little past the middle, actually. I'm gonna put some wine in there. It smelled super good, though. I feel a little bit better. Before I didn't really feel like I put anything in my hair, but now it feels a little better. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that the ends of my hair feel nice and smooth. If they don't feel smooth, then I like to still just run my fingers over them. So therefore I know the curl is gonna come out really nice. If it doesn't feel smooth, I feel like it's not gonna look good. So I gotta make sure. Now I'm going to just go back into this other section that I twisted up and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to use this leftover product that's on my hand first before I get some more. So now instead of taking like a little bit, like a little quarter size, I'm taking a nice healthy amount and spread it over my hair because with this product I feel like less is not more, more is more. See, almost did it everywhere. I'm going with the custard now, and I'm going to work on it in this big section. I'm gonna just take a little bit of it and then pair of hands it through my hair. Guys, yeah, so I am done putting the products in my hair. For now, from looking at it just now in my bathroom, I think I'm gonna be happy with it. I like the way that my curls are looking from you know the roots down to the ends. So you know, we just have to wait and see until it dries. I'm gonna let it air dry for maybe three, four hours, and then I'll probably go in and finish with my diffuser. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, or maybe a long bit. Weird, I'm looking through the mirror, so I don't know if I should look through the mirror at myself or through the mirror at the camera. I don't know, sorry. All right you guys, so it's about 7.30 now. I washed my hair at I don't know what o'clock. I finished at I don't know what o'clock. But I feel like it's been about good healthy three, three and a half-ish hours. And my hair is about 90% dry. My roots are still wet, so I got my diffuser and my blow dryer right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this bad boy up. All right, guys, so that was about 10 minutes of my life. Not that bad, I thought it was way longer than that, actually. And my hair feels about 100% dry now, but that's good, I can ride it out. I'm not going to sleep anytime soon. Um, I'm debating whether or not Shingo looks really good in some places and not so good in other places. So like over here, I don't know if it was like blow drying it that made it like a little extra frizzy, but over here it's a little frizzy, which I mean I can live with, but for day one frizz, it's like no man. But you know what, let's go set up somewhere else then, because I hate that ticking. Let's go set up somewhere else and we can talk about this somewhere else, guys. So, we're back, we're done. I thought about like getting all glam and putting on a whole bunch of makeup, but that's just not me today right now. <laughs> maybe tomorrow I'll put on some makeup and like do cute intro and outro, maybe. Maybe not, we might keep this real OG real for real wash day. Ain't nobody getting glam, I'm not going nowhere, and if I was going somewhere, I probably wouldn't even do that much. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day. But for right now, actually I'm gonna grab my mirror too so I can look at this as I tell you guys my thoughts. So my thoughts about this wash and go is I like it. I do like this wash and go. I feel like it's a very good wash and go. It may be one of the best ones that I've had in a long time. I got some product running down my face. 
What the world is that? Mm. I've never had product running on my face before. Ooh. That might have rubbed off on my hair though, who knows. Um, like I was saying before, there are some parts that I feel like got a little frizzy, but that might have come from me blow drying the hair and me constantly like touching my roots to see if they were completely dry because like over here, this curl is like a little frizzy and honestly, it's, it's honestly on this side. So when I was doing my hair, I cut it out of the video when I was editing because it started to get really repetitive and I didn't want the video to get boring like we've all seen someone wash their hair before and condition and detangle and all of that so I cut a lot of those scenes out of my video so that it wouldn't be boring and repetitive and so we can just get down to the meat, the product, the nitty the gritty which I wanted to know about, the actual wash and go. Um, so when I was styling my hair on this side I forgot to put the leave-in conditioner on first and I ended up actually layering it on top. So that might be why this side is just a little bit more frizzier than all of the other ones. If you can see, I'm actually gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see. Oh, way more frizzier than over here. Over here the curls are, you know, a little bit more defined, I guess, than on this side. Which I can live with for a couple of days. Or I can just go in and tweak those little bit of curls that are a little more frizzier than the others. We'll just see. Um, as for longevity, as of right now, I don't know. I use the heavy holding product, the, the custard, and my hair doesn't feel heavy at all. Honestly, like as I shake it, I have so much movement. Let me zoom you guys back out. I have so much like movement in my hair. I can shake it and it, and it moves. Normally when I put like a gel or a custard in my hair, I don't have this this movement i have like a lot of stiffness and i have to like go in and break the gel cast which is why i don't really like gel but you have to go in and like stretch it out and break the cast i'm not a fan of that so the fact that i have a lot of movement right now it makes me really happy but it makes me worry about the longevity of how the product is actually going to last so we just have to wait and see. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I'll probably give you an update there throughout the week. But you know how the watch and go is lasting. So I'll put my Snapchat Instagram information right here. Self plug. Self plug. Um, super happy with it. Um, I will probably definitely buy the curling custard again. I'm going to like cocktail it in with some other products to see how I like it. The curling smoothie. I'm up in the air with because I feel like I had to use a lot of it. Let me grab it for you guys so I can show you. It's like full up to the, like the top. Right now, the product is like down here. So I feel like I use I can use all of this and let's see one, two, three, four washes. I can use all of this in four washes, which could be a month. So for the price of this. I may not buy this again. I actually am going to check the line for something that has a more heavier consistency on the product um, than this one because the consistency says it's a medium consistency. Actually, earlier I said it was a lighter consistency, I think. And this one's like smack dead in the middle for a uh, consistency. And I want to find something that's a little bit on the heavier side. This just felt like I was putting nothing in my hair and I had to use like four or five pumps per section in my hair in order to make it feel like it was actually doing something. I mean, now that I have it, I'm going to use it. I'm not going to take it back. I do like it. I don't think I like it enough to buy it again. As for the curling souffle, like I said, I'm going to mix it in with some other products to see how it acts. But right now, I think I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it, actually. So for that being said, you guys, I think we're done. I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or anything that you want to let your girl know. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have not already checked out my previous video, you can check that out here. But until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>